Hey peeps, peeps and creeps, it's Gareth here, aka Rookie. I went on a gig trip to Edinburgh to go and see the band Sterling from outside of, well, from Stoke on Trent really. And this is how it went. Enjoy! <laughs> tonight were Emerald Overlord, a two-piece rock band. Um, their second song was a bit more funky um, than the rest of it, but I'm sure if you've read my reviews before you know how much I don't really like two-piece bands. 
Um, that's due to the fact that when two piece bands are playing, you need to be almost perfect. And because you can a lot of mistakes tonight, thankfully, these guys were. Well, they weren't perfect because no one's perfect, but the, the mistakes were so unnoticeable they didn't affect um, my playing. Um, they, they, and this wasn't due to them just playing basic and cobbling each tunes so they could play nicely together. Um, there was a lot of complication in the songs. The guitarist was using um, magnation pedals so he could like flip between being bassist and lead guitar, which is really good. Um, and at one point, he was trying to channel Jimi Hendrix as playing. The drummer has a perf this kind of perfect timing and. I thought I'd seen him before, and it turns out I have. I've seen him film for another band at the Bannermans, um, basically when the uh, that band's drummer went into hospital. Um, there was like a blues vibe throughout the sound, which is really good and kind of got me going. Um, the drummer took most of the vocals, and they kind of made a lot of jokes about how there used to be three pieces, and they kicked the basses out. How true that is, I don't know. So the next band up were. Blizzards of Babylon, an old school heavy rock band with a mixture of old school heavy metal. They had a very tight set, very, very well practiced. They looked like giants on stage, mainly because it looked like the guitarists, apart from the bassist, were playing with like kids' kids' guitars rather than full size adult guitars. Really good, good look. Um, their singer had sort of a match for Iron Maiden's Bruce, and he had a knuckle ducker with Mike written on it, which was a nice bit of stage dressing. Um, they brought a, a whole pack of riffs, hooks, heavy drums. Of course, they love heavy drums. Um, there's nothing about their performance I can fault, which I definitely mean I would go and see them again if, ever, if I ever see a show of theirs listed. They did a sister scissors, sorry, fight cover, which they admitted there was a sister a scissors, sorry, fight cover. This is. This, they admitted this because the sound engineer that was working night and actually toured with Scissors Fight. Um, it just made me wonder how many of the other songs that were so good that you were playing weren't actually obscure covers by old metal or rock bands that people maybe hadn't heard. Um, the one bit of criticism I like to throw at them would be that there was no flair that I could see. There was no, uh, It seemed all too well rehearsed every single step, every single second. But in their own words, they wanted to take three things away from their set. Vikings, pirates, and monkeys. So headline tonight were Steriline. The reason I had gone to this gig, they're a female rock band and they're a joy to see live. They provide a great frenzy of sound, leave you wanting more, and there's a real kick to their bass line that just gets me. They have a powerful lead singer, her vocals are really enchanting, and this is this pulls you into the band side, hit you with a screaming vocals by their backing singer. Uh, very contrasting styles, very akin to the old school type dual vocal span, but without having just two vocalists. Really good um, and it's quite smart in the way they're doing that. Um, there are some very heavy guitar sections, there's some very excellent guitar riffs, even a bass rift, and these guys feel like they just want to give you more than they're able to possibly give you. The band's only been going for about a year, but they have the stage presence of a band that's been going for decades. Really good. They did do in their set a metal cover of Pink's get, Let's Get the Party Started, but to get a real idea of what their sound is, I go and listen to the songs Dead Set and Set the World Alive. Anyway guys, this has been my uh, trip video, and as always, have fun.